happy. Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And back by popular demand, we've got Mickey Theo. How are you doing, Mickey? Yeah, happy new year to you and all the fans and all the people watching the, your programme. It's, uh, you know, it's another new year. Hopefully it's a, a better one. Let's yeah. hope that uh, we get rid of this COVID-19, whatever they want to call it, and uh, get a life back to normal again, you know? Yeah. Uh, Mickey, yeah, f since it's about eight months in it since you and John have had your beef now, and uh, he doesn't seem to be wanting to say anything now. Wh what do you think has gone, gone wrong from John saying he's the best guy over 50 and he'll fight anybody to you accepting the challenge and it not happening because, like, it's it's, it's he don't he don't seem to be wanting to take your your offer up, does he? Of, of his challenge, where do you think we're at, mate? Well, I think number one um, is the uh, bottle job of uh, 2020. He's got busy because you know he hasn't come out. Um, been looking for him. I think he's hiding somewhere. Plus, there's another guy called Rambo fancies it as well. So you know. He can easily ring him up and get him up there. If he reckons he's X-rayed and he's the bollocks and he's a fucking American fucking cop fighting, whatever he is, um, you know, that's what he's got to do, ring the guy's number. He's, he's given the number. He wants to fight him. He's fed up with all his bollocks that he's coming out with. I think everyone's fed up with his bollocks he's coming out with, personally. Yeah, do you feel that John never thought anybody would say, do you know what, John, I'll have some of that. Do you think he thought that? What do you think? Yeah, definitely. He, he can think what he wants at the end of the day, but it's coming out to challenge it, isn't it? To prove his point. Which you're not doing. Yeah. And it's very disrespectful for, for, for each travelling uh, people and uh, gypsies, travellers, you know, whoever, however they call them. Um, respect to all of them. Um, I think they're great guys. I've met so many since this has been going on. And greeting me, want to take selfies with me. We had one down the car which having a bit of a fucking play around, you know. I met him in a restaurant about a month before that, you know. Um, not a bad guy, you know. Uh, but he's got to do his thing for the show, you know. And uh, it's all bands at the end of the day, isn't it? There's no one. So it's a, at the end of the day, it's a challenge, you know. It's a lovely challenge and for, for a very good cause. And look, we've got double, I think it's another um, stronger virus come out now. It's the COVID-19, but it's a stronger one. This is what I'm hearing. So, you know, they're fighting to get that sorted out as well. So if you get your first jab, you'd have to get a, a, an update or a, um, a second jab to, like, calm it down because it's gone a bit crazy out there. I mean, the whole country's going into lockdown on tier four now, I believe. So, uh, it's, it's it, listen, it's serious shit out there. Listen, I didn't believe it at the beginning. Until... Yeah, some people that I know work at hospital have all been called in... Uh... Listen, I know personal people, two personal people that have been calling and they've shown me pictures of masks, them in hospital in a um, intensive care unit with masks on. And um, a lot of people know one of them, his name's Stuart Livermore. Um, he was in a bad way. Listen, he's, he's a warrior. He called out, you know, he phoned me this morning and, and thanked me for the lovely message I left him. And, um, you know, and I said, you know, just keep your head down. And he's recovered and he's back at home. Thank God. Um, and uh, there's another friend of mine um, got close to him quite quite recently. Um, he's back home in Romania. I texted him, how are you? A long time no see. He sends me a picture with a mask on in the hospital. I thought, oh my God, this thing is real, you know? So it is real. So people, this thing is real out there. I thought it was a big uh, load of bollocks, but it's not. It's real. But be careful. Wear your mask and abide by the rules because if you don't it's not a problem you end up in hospital which we don't want to see yeah so john if you're running and you're hiding keep your mask on and remember you were the biggest plonker bottle job 2020 we are now into 2021 yes john i'm still calling you out i still want to fight you i'm here ready for you okay you've been blown out on the fucking last year Let's see if you can come trump this year. Fight me or fight us and you're X-rated. Let's go. Uh, Mick, 
Well, uh, for example, obviously I've put my Senate firing line to help help this get this fight on, but I don't, I'm not really bothered about that. But I'm more concerned about if you go to a show in London, say nine months from now, and John's at a show, this show, and you two people meet, because this kind of thing happens in the boxing industry all the time. If you meet, will it be on straight away or will it be broke up or what, would it be took outside? What what would happen, Mick? Listen, I'm a respectable guy, yeah? That's who I am, yeah? Not, not, not a lot of people know me, but you bet you, 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 in the yeah. place, you know what I'm all about, okay? Now, listen, if I go to a boxing match and he's there, yeah? If he's coming to me to fucking take me to go for me, well, of course I'll do something, yeah? If he don't, you know, and he hasn't got the balls to come out and say he doesn't want to fight me, what's it going to be? Eye to eye. That's all it's going to be. Yeah. You know? Listen, if he wants to come for me, I'm, listen, I'll do what, nor- what a normal person would do, what, what I would do. I treat people how they treat me, yeah? So yeah. he's got no respect for me, I've got no respect for him. If he wants to come for me, I'll go for him. Yeah, that's how it is, you know what I mean? You know, that's the, uh, that's the only way, you know? I talk to people respectfully, I respect them to talk to people back, you know? But if someone starts shouting and giving it the back in line, run, you know, there's two ways to do it. You walk away, so make you behave yourself. And then he goes, yeah, you just got to deal with him, you know? You know, you do your best. Yeah. He's, this is only a chance for you. This is no grief. This is no... I don't have a problem with anyone out there. Yeah. You know? Like I said, I'm, on, I'm talking on air. So, you know, this is just a challenge. He said he's the best. We'll prove it, you know? I'm half his size. You know, he's a unit. Let's go. Big fat unit. Keep training because you need it, mate. You're going to need to suck up your lungs. Anyway, I'm here. I'm waiting. So you I'm still waiting. want to fight, John, then? Yeah. Of course I do. Right. Like we said before, it's, it's, it's a, I'll stop all this. And once he comes out and says, Mickey Fear, I don't want to fight you. End of story. I'm fed up. This is the same shit every time we're talking about, you know? Mm. Yeah? I'm fed up of talking about John X rated bollocks wanker uh, bottle job fury. Okay? That's what he is. I'll leave it like that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Because we're, we're in the middle of a pandemic now, and, it, and if we get getting worse, it, it, you could be 12 months away from this fight, couldn't you? No, no, no. Doesn't matter about pandemic. We can get it on a closed um, secret location. It doesn't have to be secret. Eh? Is your call available? I've made inquiries. Your call's there. We can put it there. We can put it on, um, like we were going to put it on the twenty eighth of last year, which no one come back to me. Twenty eighth of May. Yeah, last year. Yeah, last this is last year. Yeah, last year. Seven that's months. Why the rap, that's why the weasel and the chicken come out, you know, because I just fucked up with people. We're trying to do our best to get it on. I suppose we was rushing to get on, yeah? Okay. But listen, we're getting on. We're trying our best. No one's coming back to us. No one's doing nothing. So anyway, like I say, if they want to fight, let's, 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 let's talk on your show. Let's do it properly. Let's be proper gentlemen on this. Listen, we move forward or we don't move forward. It's simple, yeah? It's yes, we want, I want to fight, Mick, or no, I don't want to. Or send a message to, to someone, uh, John, you know, that can talk correctly for you. Your manager is the one. Should be going up. John Fury is not in a position to fight Mickey Fear. End the story. Finished. I told Spencer that or my, my, one of my trainers, no. He told Spencer that as well. Yeah. But um, I think Spencer wants to fight one as well. But it's convincing John to get it on, isn't it? Anyway, listen, he's got to live up to being a, a, a bottle job, not me. Why don't we put Spencer Brown and me on uh, undercard as chief support? Fantastic. Here right. you go, Spencer. Spencer, come see. You We'll do chief support, eh, mate? What do you think? He's had a fight before, hasn't he? You had a fight before? Pardon? Have you had a fight before? Oh, yeah, just, just a few. What, <laughs> oh, <okay. Well>, old Bill? <laughs> yeah, old Bill, yeah, probably, yeah. And, uh, you, most of the fights that I had were usually in prison. It were usually over at Servery. Because I used to go down, didn't I, and grab two or three milks. And one at Survey Lads in Lindholm used to say, Grabbing another man's milk! I said, Don't be shouting that in front of the screws. Grabbing another man's milk! So I used to drag him over, over at the counter and I'd get nicked. Because people who are on the server, they think it's their food, don't they? Yeah. I spent a lot of time on basic. So me and my pal had a bit of a mini riot, actually. 95 New Year's Day. Lindo, over well, we were over the we won Christmas quiz didn't we and they didn't put money into our bank account so we went to canteen and there were no money there 
and we private cash, I think we had about 60 quid each. Because all Christmas, all we talked about, Mick, was, God, can you imagine, Tucker, we're, we're going to get on when canteen's off and we're, what, we've, what we've got and what we're holding. Listen, got canteen's out. a good thing in there, isn't it? Hey? Right? Canteen is 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 a is the best thing in there, you know. It's what canteen. Canteen is the best thing in the league. Yeah, well, we didn't smoke backy like, but we had more backy than canteen on the bed. But anyway, we kicked off. We kicked a few tins of rice pudding about behind the server, and they come and took us, wrapped us up like like lambs, took us to block and sent us to Marlins next door a week later. So okay. that's another story way back east. You yeah. versus John Fury, two men in your late fit. What John's 56, 64 May is born. You're born October 63, aren't you, mate? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's, 50, he's, 50, 50, he's 57 in May. You're 58 this October. It could be easily made with 12 ounce gloves on over six three minute rounds. It's not hard to, to sort. John, my argument with it is this. John says a lot, and there's no wrong with that because a lot of it's hype in it and trying to get views and this and that. But he says a lot, but he's not acting on on a lot of it, is he? And I think he should come out and say, "Look, let's get it on after the pandemic, or let's have a straight new. Would you have a straight new in the car park? Would that be better for you, mate?" Listen, this has become a, a business now, so you know, all right. All right. it's all about getting on. Uh, listen. <laughs> There's no money in the car park for the NHS, is there? Yeah. yeah. And listen, Spencer is the first words come out of his mouth when he spoke to Stuart after speaking to Stuart Liverpool, Liverpool trying to size me up what I'm all about. Have I had a fight? Have you seen him fight? But can he fight? Yeah? yeah. John ain't fighting this is money on the table. So listen, this is for the NHS, mate. We're going to make fucking money in the car park, yeah? Unless you want to fight the, the Rambo. You're welcome to, mate. Yeah? Rambo fighting for nothing, mate. Not me. I'm going to make money for the NHS. Yeah, if you don't like it, fuck off. Simple bottle job, all right? Wow. <laughs> You'll get Excuse it. the friends. Happy New Year to you as well. I'll, I'll even say that to you. No problem. Yeah. Uh, Sorry about that. I shouldn't have said them words. Apologies. No, don't worry about it. it. We, it's very, it's about you... food, you know what I mean? He's yeah. a fucking wanker. That's it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Pussy. Yeah. Bottle job. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. And that's from there. That's from the heart, mate. I think I did about 400 videos last year or something, or maybe even more. I think I only got paid for about 42. <laughs> so don't bother about swearing. It's uh, We've all got a bit of Tourette. This is what boxing does to us all, Mick. It sends us crazy, doesn't it's it? It's frustrating, you know? It's frustrating. That's the word for it, you know? Yeah, I know, yeah. But anyway, right. listen, it is what it is. It, it, if he wants to fight, he come out. If he don't want to fucking have a good, have a good 21 years, whatever, of 2021. I don't have to fucking talk about him anyway. Who is he anyway? Is it nobody? Is a fucking loud mouth cunt? That's it. Uh, he's a big lump. He's a big lump. He's, he's taller than to make heavy and he's got a longer reach. Yeah, lovely. What was he waiting for? <laughs> yeah, I yeah. I know. Yeah, I don't know what the problem is. Well, what, he can come out and do what he wants. I'll still pluck his fucking chicken through. <laughs> Somebody said something to me in one of my emails earlier. They said, you and John Fury would be like Canelo against Callum Smith. I nearly collapsed. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, but, this, but this time, the Callum Smith version would beat you up, would beat the Canelo version. It would obviously a John Fury diehard. But there's no yeah. wrong with being a diehard. I used to be one myself when Frotch fought. But what I will say is, maybe... We might need to go to Manchester and, and, and go see John. What do you think? Would yeah, you... maybe we'll do that. We'll, we'll, we'll go and do some flights, some tippet, uh, some flyers up there, can't we? <laughs> we? We need to get them flyers going up in a, in, in, in a free newspaper. Get them out and you know put a big sign up. Has anyone seen John? Have a look at your bins. Empty your bins out. You might be hiding the bins. Okay. Okay, that'll make you gone ruthless now, aren't you? What's ruthless about that? Nothing ruthless about that. We need to find them, didn't we? Someone must must have seen him somewhere. Yeah. He's probably yeah. hiding with the foxes or something. Pardon? He's probably fo he's either hiding with the chickens or the foxes. He ain't, he ain't with the turkeys because the turkeys is, is a tough one, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. The turkeys uh, will kick him out, mate. Oh, fuck, I'm going, it's going, 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 sit in the chicken hatch. 
the lame chickens. Go down with the lame chickens. But anyway. All right, then. Should we change subjects a little bit and move on to something else, Mick, yeah? It's getting boring, this fucking subject, isn't it? We had yeah. fucking last year, a whole year of it, and now we've got it again. Well, do you know what? I saw that video of you training the other day, 16th morning, in the minus five, with that, that, the lad who owns the gym, Noel. Uh, mm. you, you must be off your rock, mate, <laughs> doing that on Christmas Day. That's what we do, mate. Yeah. Obviously, you're dedicated to your training, aren't you? So we fucking put a hoodie over a fucking egg because it's freezing. <laughs> uh, Listen, hoodies on, fucking tracksuits on the air, still out there, mate. All right, then. Well, we'll move on to something else now, then. Uh, what yeah, do you think about uh, AJ and Joshua? Do you think it's going to happen? AJ, sorry, and Fury. Tyson Fury, sorry. You, you fuck me up, man. I'm thinking AJ and Joshua. I mean, uh, I'm trying to pitch both face. It's the same guy. AJ and who? You were going to say AJ beats Joshua, then, weren't you, mate? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, I'm thinking, hang about, hang about, AJ and Joshua. I think he's fucking got it wrong. Go on in. AJ Baru, don't tell me Fury. AJ against Tyson Fury. Who do, you do think wins? Who do you think wins and does it happen this year, Mickey? Uh, well, I think there's only one win. I think Tyson Fury will piss all over AJ, yeah. personally. Um, will it happen this year? God knows what when it will happen because I'm sure he's got to fight Wilder first, isn't he, Tyson? Uh, I'm sure there's a bit of a, a legal battle going on there and I think he may have to still face him I don't know who knows well, no one knows what's going on mm. there's talk about it and there's, there's, there's you know about um, the legal side of it and he has to face him and then the other side you're even you know, saying he's, done, he's matched the fight up and, and prior to that MTK sorted it out didn't he yeah so uh, if they sort it out, they sort it out. Why do they want to get Eddie Hearn trying to sort it out now with Bob Aaron? I don't know. It's such a lot of bit of talk, a lot of talk going on in boxing lately. A lot of uh, bullshit, basically, isn't it? Mm. You know, it's, I think it's hyping the fans up. You know. Yeah. I think it sounds like it. Well, let me just uh, let me just put these things on here, and we'll we'll sort this uh, question out. Uh, we've had these. These from Lacoste. There's ten pair. And we're going to give one pair a week. We're going to give a. We're going to give a pair a week away. All right. Ugh. Ugh. Who's, that Who's that from your sponsor? Huh? Well, there's, there's no money involved, obviously, because it's, it's on oh, a you... small channel. Aren't yes. I? I ain't got that many subscribers, mate. To be honest. In fact, I don't even know. Oh, Subscribers up on the screen. Uh, so they've sent me these, and, uh, the, and they said whatever shoe size they are, the wins it. They'll send me another pair. So there's ten different types here. There's these ones here. I don't know. There's there's also I'm a night man, aren't I, mate? For trainers, but it's good stuff. These so ones. What's the question? Hey. What's the question for to, to grab a pair of well, The question I was thinking of is first person, first person who emails me on Porky Corner at mail.com, uh, the the name of the person who John Fury fought for hundred thousand pounds in a bare knuckler. In I know it. I know it. I know it. Oh. No one. Oh mate, you've spoiled it. We can't use that question now then. All right, I'll think we'll think of another question then. Uh, who did Carl Froch? Uh, did Carl Froch lose to in the World Championships in Ireland in 2001? Uh, he ended up with a bronze medal, but who did he lose to? Uh, first person who emails me gets a pair. When you email me, poor. Oh, these ones are all right, mate. These ones are all right, aren't they? Mm. They're not bad then. Uh, first person who oh, there's ten pair. First person who emails me answer. Who did Carl Froch lose to in the 2001 World Championships? 
It's got Google. Ireland. It? Pardon? You just got to Google it, I suppose, isn't it? Well, if, if they can find it, but uh, yeah. it might be hard to find that one. And, and wait, make sure when you email me, you send me your shoe size, but they've got to be 7 to 12, I've been told. So if you've got feet like a clown, size 14, you're no good. And if you've got feet like a woman, size 5, that's no good either. So 7 to 12, size 7 to 12, and we'll sort, we'll sort, we'll sort you out. So I'll tell you what, which ones I like. I like these ones. These are all right, aren't they, for running and that. Yeah. If you want to take running up. Anybody who wants to take running up? Let John, me John, John, I mean, Pete John's running. He's doing, I know he's doing a little bit of a marathon, isn't he? He's, he's doing, doing 10 miles a day, John, and he's a Spartan, isn't he? Well, it's great, isn't it? So, the, the marathon, isn't yeah, so the question, guys, is, who did Carl Froch lose to in the World Championships in 2001? He ended up with a bronze, but the guy who, who beat him, who did he lose to? What's wrong with John, John, John Fury's um, question? Um, question yeah. You've already blabbed answer, haven't you? Because I don't, be, I personally don't believe John had a fight for under thousand pounds. It's my opinion, and a couple of people in the know have said it didn't happen. I'm not going to say who, but. So if that didn't happen and John couldn't remember who we fought for under thousand pound in the Sun newspaper interview, why say it? Because if any, whatever you said after that now, we can't believe him, can we? I, I don't believe anything he says now. Look, I have a, I have a let me, listen to me. Let me just tell you this. I, I have a, a way that I work with people, right? Uh, it comes from all walks of life. And if they lie to me or they do anything that I don't agree with, I don't wait with him again, right? I, I just think every time I see him, like you see people all the time at boxing and stuff. And Dennis used to say to me, Oh, why do you have to be like that with him? I said, I don't want him near me in my company. And Dennis used to say to me, Yeah, but we might have to work with him down the line. I said, No, I don't want to work with them. He said, Oh, well, I'm going to have to go put that right now. I said, Well, go put it right then. And that's where we used to clash all the time. Now, how can anybody believe anything John Fury said after the one hundred thousand pound bare knuckle fight, which it didn't happen. But I can understand where he's coming from because to that used to promoting fights for his his lads and stuff like that. He's ended up doing an interview and he got carried away talking by himself. And then bef and before you know where they were, he's talking about hundred thousand pound bare knuckle fights that he won. So the guy <laughs> said, "Well, who did you fight, John?" He's gone. Do you know what? I can't remember it. It'll come to me. If you fought anybody for free, you'd remember. If you fought anybody for under thousand pounds, you'd never forget the name, would you? So anything, all, he really. says, anything he says from now on, I don't buy into. Same as his son. I can't buy into it because you don't know where you are with them, do you? Nobody's saying his son's not the best heavyweight in the world at the moment. He is by a country mile. But there's been some incidents in the last few years, and I've looked at it and I thought, you know what? They're not for me. It don't mean don't mean that I'm gonna hate them because I think Tyson's actually world class fighter, but they're not they're not for me. So and, and like I said, and when the, when people come out with stuff like that, I can't be I can't follow them people. And all them are sending abuse. I mean, some of this abuse here, them up at office, they're, they're saying we're gonna save that for police. I said, no, you're not. Some of it is that vile. I look at it and I think, God. Just for correcting people. So, well, I don't believe that, what he said. I don't believe it. Yeah. You don't believe it. And we know it didn't happen. But so I'm saying this person who fought John for 100 grand, can you come forward? I'll give you all these 10 here. I can have all 10 pairs. Just tell me what size you are. If I haven't got your size, I'll go get it. Because I know it didn't happen. But you've already blurted don't forget, answer that. Don't forget, don't forget giving two grand on top as well. We've got safe room. No, I've got a grand in my office. So you, you've got your grand there, haven't you? See, yeah, I've, yeah. that's still up there. I, do you know what? I was thinking to be sent down. I'm a bit low on reddit. I've got a grand up there, and that'll teach me to kick shooting my mouth off, won't it? But no, uh, I, I can't. I can't buy into anything that he says after that. If if he comes out and wheels somebody out, probably I don't know. If, we might wheel Joe Egan out, and Joe say, "Hey, it with me." Well, I'd just say, "Where it's footage then," because did that. Because I've seen footage of proper fighting men like Dan Rooney going back to eighties, people mm. like that. So why wouldn't there be any footage if John's had a fight in in, in nineties? Why would there not be any footage? An underground fight like that with travellers. Travellers love a fight, don't they? 
So I don't believe it, but that's my opinion. You don't mean to say that I want to go out there and fight John because he'd probably punch holes in me. But you don't mean to say that I, I want to cause problem. Or I'm just saying I don't believe that. John, I don't believe it. If I'm wrong, prove me wrong. But all your little fan club, deep, deep down inside the hearts, they know it's rubbish as well. But they're not going to come out and say it like I am. I know people in the boxing industry who actually know him and they're like, they can't believe it. But once you tell a lie, mate, what do you have to do? you got to tell another. Or unless you shut it down. It's like the fight with you. I believe that he shut you down. Once he's seen, he checked out, because he had his mate asking somebody who know, can Mickey fight and this and that, blah, blah, blah. I personally believe that he checked you out and then he said, right, get up to Manchester Street morning. If you don't come, that's it. That's how he shut it down. It's like they shut the, the seven or eight million down to charity. Coogan asked him because a lot of people don't know this, but I'm going to spill it beans. Eddie Earn had Coogan ask. He said, you need to ask him, Coogan. He didn't want to ask Coogan because he's caught in the middle. So he put it on Tyson and said, what about this? these millions you give to charity? Tyson said, none of your business. They shut it down straight away because it's like... Once you tell a lie, you've got to tell another lie. They kept the lie on. And then people yeah. in media were saying, well, where's these millions gone to? Who, who's yeah. it gone to? Where? It didn't happen. It wouldn't happen. would never happen. But sometimes you get caught up in the hype. And then once you've said it, you can't correct yourself. You see where I'm coming from? But I wish yeah. I wish him well. I wish Tyson and his dad well. But I don't believe some of the stuff they come out with. So when they do come out with something that's true... I can't believe it because I'm yeah. the court system. Uh, I've had like eight, nine trials, I know. And I've had some not guilties. And when they mess up, tell a lie, they get caught out in dock, case collapses, doesn't it? See where I'm coming yeah. but, but like I said, that's just my opinion. I hope you and John get at it. John's got to come, come out because some of the things you've said to him are quite vile. I'd like to think I've not said anything as vile as you, mate. But what I have said is this, John. I think that you're a born liar. And I think it's something that you need a bit of help with because it's it's all, it's all time, isn't it? That's my opinion. I'm entitled to it. John wants to come and punch me upside down. Let him come and do it. But he won't. Because that's not in his nature now, is it? He's not he's not wanting to be a fighting man. Because he'd have took you up with your offer, wouldn't he, Mick? So if he don't want to fight you, he should come out and say, look, Mick, I don't want to fight you. <laughs> Shut us gobs off and let's leave it. And I'd, I'd give more respect for that. Hey, listen, we've all done it. We've all said, yeah, well, I'll see you later, whatever. I said it to some guy 16 when I was 13 at Comprehensive in Edlington. And, <laughs> you know, at quarter to four, he was here like that with top off. I thought, oh, my God. The big fifth year and yeah. I'm a little second year. So, but we've all done it, mate, haven't we? And you, sometimes you just have to turn up for your battles. So, John, you've got to turn up. Turn up. Turn up for your battles, John. Win, lose, or draw. We can all have a laugh, can't we, after? But you've got to turn up. You can't do the videos you've been doing. And best thing about it is, John doesn't know that IFL are making him look stupid. Because every few weeks, they keep putting a John Fury compilation video up, don't they, on IFL? IFL, you've got John Fury there with all the interviews over the years where he's ranted off and this and that. He don't know that they're bugging him off because they're laughing right. behind his back. That's when they're putting this out, correct. they're doing it for that views, but they're also laughing at him because he's like a figure of fun to him, isn't he? Because he yeah. hasn't thrown a punch at anybody since he's been out of jail five and a half years. He hasn't thrown a punch, but he's always going to have a tear up. Who's he had a tear up with since he come out? Who? Himself. Right, yeah. Himself. Oh, uh, himself. I think he'd have a tear up with himself, hasn't he? <laughs> well, I don't know, but John, you and Mick need to get at it. Get at it and get it sorted. Get some gloves on. Let's get somebody there. If it has to be IFL, get them to film it and donate it all to charity. I'm not bothered about the views. Let them get at it and me and Spencer Brown can get at it on the same day. If that's more enticing for Spencer to go say, come on, John, we can both do this together. For NHS, and if you want, John, for your favourite charity for mental health, all right? Because we all know what that mental health thing is, don't we? But let's donate something for them as well. There's not, there's not wrong with donating money to charity, but it needs to happen. We can't 
they're going back and forth because it's, it's time consuming for everybody concerned and things like that. It has to happen. You've got to do, it's got to happen, Mick. You've got to fight, yeah. Listen, I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. I so want it, I. and uh, I want it from day one, you know. And uh, you know, what, what, what more can I say, or what more can I do, you know? Um, I've got everything ready, just him saying, Give us the okay, and then uh, we'll get on your channel, we'll, we'll, we'll give the fans what they want to hear, a face off like on Skype, and uh, move forward and do it. Listen, win or lose, fuck it, we'll do it, you know, we'll do it for a good cause, and that's what we're doing for mainly. So we should hold our heads up high and just get on and do it, mate. Put your fucking gloves on and enter the ring and do it. Nah. Take a few fucking bangs or swings and whatever and done. Have a fucking pint of Guinness after, because you like Guinness. Or vodka or whatever you want. And it's done. You fight for a crate of Guinness, couldn't you, John? Uh, what a great thing to do for. Fight for the NHS. Back especially now, it's got even fucking, you know, deeper and deeper. You know? Yeah, yeah you've got to... Uh, but uh, yeah, it's got it's got it's got to happen, Mick. It's got to happen. It must happen sooner or later, and it really. Well, you got to get John Z and bang on the wall and say it's just going to happen. <laughs> so, well, it's listen. got to happen. You want, mate? I've just had a shave, and I people keep saying to me, "You are coming down to my house? Get a shave?" I say, "Why?" Say, "Cause you look scruffy with that beard." And plus, can I just point out to somebody? So, who, who keeps going on about that moustache? I never yeah, had a moustache. It, it's yeah. these visual effects, right? What's the visual effects. Kind of you what, mate? What's the, what's the guy's name that had that moustache? Me? Oh, Hitler, wasn't it? No, no, it wasn't Hitler. It was the other guy. Gary, was it Gary Glitter? Gary Glitter? He want me. He want, I, never, I never had a Gary Glitter queen on me. What are you doing to no, me? No, we're talking about John's moustache, are yeah? Oh. A little back goatee. Oh, I don't know if he's got that now. I don't know. Gary Glitter had a goatee, didn't he? I don't like goatees, me. But, uh, so, John, get in touch. Let's have you on here via Zoom. Or get your mate. What's that bloke who keeps doing videos? He's really funny. He wears a gold mask, doesn't he? Oh, fuck it. He's a laugh, isn't he? He says he's going to put... He's a, 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 a cracker. Well, he doesn't even know the people. He doesn't even know the family, isn't he? He's fucking praising them, you know what I mean? You know, All I'm going to say to that lad, I think he's quite funny, but... You know. why, don't you just, why don't you just take his mask off? You know? What's yeah, your take your for? mask off, son. Take your mask off and come on come on, channel, but take your mask off if you got, if yeah. you have a lot to say. Take mask yeah. off. And do he's hiding like the rest of them. <laughs> maybe, you know, maybe it's, 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 you know, John hiding, he's made him hide his face or something, you know? Hmm. All that shit that comes out of his mouth, eh? Unbelievable. Yeah, I, didn't well, I, I don't even listen. I see, I see the face. I don't even bother listening to what he's got to say. Obviously, and, and I want to fucking hide behind the fucking mask, you know. But uh, they're just fucking they're like idiots, don't they? Got nothing else better to do. You can't even hear what he's saying. Yeah, well, yeah. he says he's going to punch holes in you, mate. Really? I didn't. Even, I didn't even listen to it. Not interested in him. Yeah, no, I, I sent it. You bought. What are you going to do if he turns up at that gym and says he wants to get at it with you? Oh, the geezer with the, the mask? Yeah, the weird side, Jack. Listen, anyone wants to punch back in the house of me, <laughs> come and take me, innit? Go come for me, attack me, do what you got to do. You yeah, know? well, there's, there's a ring in that gym, isn't there? So, have you thought about getting ring. at it in that ring, you and John? We uh, just doing it in that gym or any gym. And we are a crowd and a platform there to raise money. Would that be a good? Would that be a good idea? Do you think? Instead Not of a problem. Yeah. Not a problem. What about? Uh, so we, we need to let the fans know. know. We need to let the fans know. We need to get it right, and and we need to get it, you know, on a pay per view and make some money for the NHS. That's what it's all about. You know? Yeah. Like, it's not about, like I say before, I've said it many times. It's not about, you know, back gardens and whatever. It's just about doing it properly and raising some money for for, for a great cause. And, um, you know, and I say it from day one, you know, and uh, that's what it's about. Yeah. Um, so if you've still got any bollocks, come out. If not, stay your chickens. No. Uh, I like those of chickens and hens or whatever you got. The lame ones, especially. Well, like I said, it's sometimes we say things in drink and after you think, oh, I've put a video out now and I've just called me, I've just said, 
we're going to fight, it's me, you and Mickey Theo also. You and John said you and him were going to fight. Afterwards, you must have thought, oh, God, because you, like, you've been like a dog with a bone, Mick, haven't you, now for months? Listen, they're not stupid. They've done the research. You know, they've spoken to certain people that uh, I know. And they've said, you know, I can do it. And um, well, his son's close to. And, um, you know, some people abroad that I've actually been in that ring in front of them and done what I've done to a six foot five guy mm. in 15 seconds. He is a witness, the person who had the gym. Not mentioning names or where the gym was, but he's abroad. Time I was fighting, he said, you know, I said, some six foot five guy. He said, I'm coming over to see you fight. I said, no, I'm coming over to you to train down there. So I popped in this gym. He said, who? I said, he's about six foot four, six foot five. This guy, in fact, he's about six, seven. So he brought me in someone to spar with one day. And he lasted 15 seconds with me. And that is honest. And the guy who owned the gym, or could can say that, you know, and uh, say no more. That's probably where they found out. And thought, well, easy, clutch, reverse, bark up. His keys is not for us. You know? All right then, mate. Well, uh, before so, you know, I there was no other reason, you know. If he thought he could just fucking walk over me, come and find me, but I don't think it's going to be like that. It's, it's you know, I've got a big heart here. <clears throat> this nut here can take a lot, you know, and uh, these can do the job on the day. All right then, before we go, uh, before... <laughs> right, mate. All right. Right. Before we go, uh, have you got a message for Big Gypsy, John Fury, the fighting man from Manchester? I just said it. Turn up. Have some of that. Right, there you go. He sent a message to you. John, come on here. Porky Turn Corner. Porky Corner at mail.com, John. Send me an email. You've got my number anyway, John. Give me a ring. Your mate can meet up and get at it. And put me out of my misery. And don't forget, yeah. come and pull the channel, oh, just talk about it and move forward. Bring your mate, Spencer Brown, as well. And me and oh, Spencer. Yeah. A little bit of appetizer, won't we, mate? Me and Spencer. Yeah, that'd be good. We'll be appetizer for main main event. Definitely. Yeah. All right, then, Mick. Well, listen, I'm going to love you and leave you. Uh, have a good Christmas. What's left of it? Oh, New Year, sorry. New Year, really. And, uh, and happy new year to you, Russ, and everyone watching this again. Happy new year to you. Have a safe one. Uh, and don't forget, the question were for the competition, if you forgot, who did Carl Froch lose to at World Championships 2001? All right, at middleweight. All right, mate. Thank you very much, mate. You have a great evening. No problem. Take care. Speak to you soon. Peace out. Bye-bye.